This conference will now be recorded. Hi all, good morning. Welcome to Srinu Technologies. I want to give introduction about Srinu Tech. Srinu Technologies has been established in 2013 May. We are experts on Java real-time projects since day one. Till now, 72 batches has completed successfully, including normal track and fast track. More than 3,000 students got placed in MNCs by taking Java real-time project in Stenotech. I would say only one thing, learn Java real-time project in Stenotech you will get a minimum six plus years of real-time experience knowledge. So now, by the way, myself, I'm Srinivas. I'm having 13 years of experience in IT. Still, I'm working in some good top, top MNC. 10 years of experience in IT training. I have okay, expertise in SOAP-based web services. My Career was started with the UI and you know, so after that I moved to REST, after that I moved to Spring Boot and Micro Services. Currently, I am working on Spring Boot and Micro Services layered architecture. So Sinotech goal is you now what is our goal? Sinotech goal is now here Sinotech goal to build to build or to develop end to end project from the scratch hey what tech stack you should use to develop end to end project yes ui to develop ui we need angular and we need html and we need css yes Plus, we should use micro services or APIs. Yes. Plus, we should use databases. We should use Kafka. We should use Redis Cache. And we should use Docker. We should use AWS. This is our tech stack. Hey, do you need all this tech stack to? attend th this project course no no need so what we are expecting from you the prerequis the prerequisite to attend this course you know i would say strongly recommended on core java and next strongly recommended on advanced java basic advanced java we are expecting basic basic knowledge on servlets jsp jdbc so and also we are and also we are expert on basic knowledge on spring spring modules like core comma mbc that's it remaining Sinotech will take care Remaining Sinotech will take care how the Kafka, Redis, Cassi, Docker, AWS, all Sinotech will take care. Okay, now we'll start. What is mean by project? Hey, project is to solve the to solve a problem or to implement the requirement. To solve a problem or to implement the requirement is called a project. Project means to solve a problem or to implement the requirement is called a project. To solve a problem means for what? In IT, there are so many products are there in IT. One is Amazon, another one is HDFC, another one is Jomoto, another one is LIC, and so another one is Star Health or UHG, so many IT products are there in the market. 
every day these products are getting the problem that means amazon every day traffic traffic means number of users number of request will come to amazon minimum worst case it will be like you know 10 lakhs or one crore request will come amazon out of one crore request two request uh, two lakhs request got failed how much it will be lost to your amazon you know in terms of crores it will be lost amazon will tell hey tech team hello technical team every day two lakhs transactions got failed because of this it is huge impact my business what can i do okay hey okay technical team will tell yes your design is wrong your architecture is wrong your your back end you know your infrastructure is wrong we need to give the solution and we need to implement that we need to solve that problem is called a project implement the requirement these days every day market is you know every day market competition always organizations are how to attract to the customer organizations are thinking how to attract to the customers so in the process of attracting customers they will give some innovation ideas we need to implement those ideas it is called a project it is called a project now see now see now i don't want to talk about theory i will talk about practical how to build a project now you see when you enter first if you take any of the application the application it may be hdfcbank.com the application it may be amazon.com see first is you are entering the uri you are entering the your application domain name it is called urlc your connection is secure certificate how the details how this path if amazon.com how this certificates how this path details see so how to know first one is hit the enter the url enter the url the url may be your hdfcbank.com the url may be your amazon.com your hdfcbank.com your amazon.com see whenever you enter this url you should know how see whenever you are you are okay, exposing your your product should be accessed via from internet you are okay, exposing your product into publicly then you have to expose you know with okay, HTTPS, then you should know how HTTPS will work internally means you should know how SSL will work internally, how SSL will work internally, how SSL will work internally. Hey, to understand this SSL, you should know to understand this SSL, to understand the SSL, we should be you should have strong knowledge on you should have strong knowledge on below things one is hey you should have strong knowledge on below things what are the strong knowledge is now here so one is one is a you should know what is keys what is key pair that means what is public key and what is private key you should have strong knowledge on key tool comma key store comma ca ca stands for certificate authority okay next one now okay next one now okay what is next one next one is what is encryption what is decryption what is symmetric encryption what is asymmetric encryption hey you will understand all these things then only you can understand what is ssl will work if you know this how this ssl will work internally doesn't matter the url may be hdfc amazon zomato lij 
UHT, the concept is same. How the HTTPS will work internally means how SSL will work internally. So Srinutek will focus in this project, this in-depth knowledge on, okay, in-depth, you know, subject on how this okay, HTTPS will work internally. Once it will be okay, now you are entering into this net banking. In this, you need to enter here your username. So, no, point number two is you need to log in page. You need to give here login page. How this login page, you know, how this okay login page will work? How this so you, you need to enter here your username and password. Your username and password, you need to enter here your username and password you are giving your username and your password you need to enter here so whenever you will give your username and password then what happened you know so it will verify so whenever you will enter here so whenever you will enter here your username and password now here see it will go to your username and password will be encrypted. This okay, encryption data will go to your server. It will verify with your database. DV also okay, encrypted username and password is there. It will verify your credentials are valid or not. If it is valid, then only your login will be successful. Now here see. Now here see. Yes, done. Hey, see the process of the process of validating validating username and password. The process of validating username and password is called authentication. Is called authentication. The process of validating username and password is called authentication. Is called authentication. The process of validating username and password is called authentication. Is called authentication. There are so many authentication frameworks are there in the market. There are so many authentication frameworks are there in the market. So few of the authentication frameworks are one is one is OAuth OAuth 2.0. Another one is one is OAuth 2.0. Another one is SAML. SAML. Another one is another one is basic authentication. Basic authentication. Another one is another one is AAD B2C. AAD B2C means Azure Active Directory. Azure Active directory directory business to consumers business to consumers okay now business to consumers now what happened now you should go for okta there are so many authentication frameworks are there in the market depends upon your client your client may choose uh, OAuth 2.0. Your client may choose uh, SAML. Your client may choose uh, basic authentication. It's all depends here. But in our most of the clients are using OAuth 2.0 and AAD B2C. But in our project, we will use OAuth 2.0 and basic authentication and SAML. AAD B2C can't do it. We need some Azure more setup is required. It is some, you know, some challenges to implement that. We will focus on these three things here. Once authentication is successful, once authentication is done, user will able to access only few features. See, this user does not have any cards details. We will not accept this application. So user is able to access only for a few features. That means it is called authorization. It is called authorization. Authorization means user can access. User can access the futures. Futures based on the role. User can access the futures based on the role. 
based on the role authorization means user can access the futures based on the role it is called authorization it is called authorization that means you need to implement this r back r back what is r back see role based role based access control you need to implement this r back role based access control you need to implement this r back role based access control so once now here once authentication and authorization is there what tech stack what tech stack means what okay technology stack what technology stack we have used what technology stack used to develop the futures now here see if it is a okay, hdfc bank you don't know everything offers do you think offers is only displayed in your hdfc net banking no your hdfc is giving some advertisement giving some uh, you know giving some uh, campaign your hdfc will give this to facebook your hdfc will give this to flipkart your hdfc will give this to linkedin it is called now your hdfc will expose one micro service your hdfc is the provider all linkedin amazon facebook all are consumers means you have to implement uh, you know you have to develop a micro service if you see your hdfc application how many micro services are there means there are hundreds of micro services are there here offers is a one micro service loan is a one micro service insurance is a one micro service cards is a one micro service accounts is a one micro service there are so many micro services are there since six seven years back all are monolithic applications at that time your application loading was very slow now it is micro service architecture your micro service fraction of seconds it is giving response fraction of seconds it is giving response means and also now here after logging into your application after logging into your application if you see here you are displaying your balance you, here you are displaying your customer here we are displaying here account details means three web services calls will be started parallelly all this information we are able to see at a time once your login will be successful your hdfc application is calling three web services one is customer details another one is balance details another one is account details three web services calls will started parallelly means hey we need to implement we need to implement this multi threading we need to implement this multi threading so to implement the parallel calls to implement the parallel calls it's a, you need to implement multi threading using java.util.concurrency api using java.util. Concurrency API. After that, to build your HDFC bank, you need 100 micro services are required. You need 100 micro services are required. How this see to develop this micro services? I need okay, REST APIs are required. To develop this okay, REST APIs, I need Spring Boot is required. To develop Spring Boot, I need Spring models are required that's why we have decided hey you need core java is required and you need advanced java to implement this project advanced java also you need servlets you need jsp you need jdbc is required now next one you need to spring modules are required what are the spring modules core module is required mvc module is required jdbc module is required orm module is required and also special spring models is called spring security i will i will include here only orm slash spring security comma spring batch also required and you know all these micro services these days we are building using spring boot so with the spring boot you are 
బిల్డింగ్ ఒక రెస్ట్ ఏపీఐస్ దీస్ ఒక రెస్ట్ ఏపీఐ ఇఫ్ ద స్టాండర్డ్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ వాట్ స్టాండర్డ్స్ వీఆర్ కాలింగ్ దిస్ మైక్రో సర్వీసెస్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్ సో వీ నీడ్ ఆల్ దిస్ ఒక టెక్స్టాక్ ఈజ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు ఇంప్లిమెంట్ దిస్ సి దట్స్ వై if you want to develop all this micro services if you want to develop all this micro services you need a rest api okay without a rest api you can't develop this micro services you need spring boot is required okay okay without spring boot you can't build these days a rest api after that spring modules are required after that you know you have advanced java like you know servlets and jsp jdbc and okay hibernate these are okay required now here multi threading now okay next to use case what is okay next to use case what is okay next to use case okay, next to use case is now here see here if i am clicking on this offers do you think these offers are varied every request i am clicking on loans i am clicking on offers i am clicking on loans i am clicking on offers do you think these offers are varied for every request no even if you log in tomorrow also these offers are fixed if you log in after one week also offers are fixed these offers will be varied every one week or every 24 hours or every 48 hours or every 4 days depends so if the data is always constant data why you are going into back end every time to get this data if you are always going into back end and get the data two drawbacks one is performance issues because response time is getting more other one is cost okay database guy will charge more see to avoid this problem if the data is constant for every time we should go for caching frameworks we should go for caching framework caching frameworks is called redis cache caching framework is called eh cache caching framework is called guva cache and so on we should give any one of the caching framework here now next one some of the requirements are in our real time asynchronous calls asynchronous means hey i will do transfer from my bank to another bank if you will do transfer from my bank okay if it is same bank the transaction will be immediately if it is a different bank then don't know other banks how okay how the okay sla is there it may take one day or it may take two days or it may take half an hour it may take one hour it depends small example if you take any food app you place the order zomato guy will verify you know the okay, restaurant okay, restaurant okay, food is available or not then only you will give response see in food app zomato whenever you place order immediately it won't come it will take minimum 15 minutes time so if in your project if you have any asynchronous calls in your project if you have any asynchronous calls if you have any okay, asynchronous calls then you need to go for message queues people are called it as okay mqs you need to go for message queues means it is a kafka or it may be rabbit mq or it may be a jms and so on now now here see hey, how you will say so how you will you know how you will design this ui how you will design this ui so we have to use angular angular and we have to use html and we have to use css and next one these days now in five years back okay six years back or okay ten years back the deployment if you want to deploy your application the build and deploy it is taking you know minimum build time 15 minutes deployment you know it, it may take one hour two hours if it is okay enterprise application it may take you know minimum half day one day also now it is the client is saying hey it's not a good i want to deploy my my want to build max 5 minutes and deploy max 10 minutes how it will be happened 
you have to use devops devops means there is a concept is called cicd cicd stands for continuous integration and continuous integration and continuous deployment continuous integration and continuous deployment continuous integration and continuous deployment so using this what we should do using this what we should do using this continuous integration and continuous deployment so you can do the deployments you can do the deployments in either seconds or max minutes no using seconds are means using jenkins and all tools will be using here jenkins git maven all will use here git or maven so what will do you know we can do the deployment do the deployments in do the deployments in seconds or minutes do the deployments in seconds or minutes now after that where you should deployment one of the cloud provider whole this hdfc bank will deploy into one of the cloud provider the cloud provider may be aws cloud provider may be azure cloud provider may be gcp google cloud provider and so on hey i am in Srinu Tech, we are going to implement all this stuff in our project. All this stuff in our project. Now, next one. See. Next is very, very important. Okay. What is next one? Okay, requirements. Okay, requirements. Okay, requirements. Okay, what is the requirement? see we have two types of the requirements we have two types of the requirements you have two types of the requirements one is functional requirements we have two types of the requirements one is functional requirements another one is non-functional requirements Another one is non-functional requirements. Now, okay, functional requirements means according to the client requirements. Okay, okay, functional requirements means according to the client requirement. According to the client requirement, we need to build this one. Functional requirements means according to the client requirement, we need to develop the product according to the client requirement we need to build the product that means in this process what happened you know in this process you need to understand the requirements you need to understand the requirements now you based on the requirement you will develop the design based on the requirement you will develop the architecture based on the requirement you will develop the design develop the architecture and based on the requirement develop the design develop the architecture you know based on the requirement you need to implement the code build the code build the code we need to build the code build the code now here see build the code once build the code hey, you need to test you need to test the code 
and you need to deploy deploy the application done hey functional requirements is you are constructing a building you are constructing a building but you know you are see before you construct your building you need to have a design you need to have architecture you need then if all okay then you will start your build the code build means like using this building you will use spring boot microservices redis cache all the tech stack you will be used here non functional requirement means non functional requirement means once your building is completed done how can how you are ensuring that your building will you know your building will be sustain next to 10 years your building will be sustained next to 20 years how can you tell that exactly will decided by this non functional requirements exactly will decided by the non functional requirements nfrs nfrs means how long your product how long your product how long your product can sustain how long your product can sustain in market is called non functional requirement if your non functional requirement is not strong your product will be waste see now the first non functional requirement is called security how strong your security is there if your product is not security then third party people hackers can hack your entire data how strong your security next one is how your application performance performance means irrespective of the load of your application in 2021 your load will be like 10000 2021 second quarter your load will be 20k in 2021 okay, ending your load will be 100k 2022 your load will be 1 million performance means irrespective of the performance means irrespective of the load of your application irrespective of the load of okay irrespective of the load your application should work how it is there you can't tell more users are coming my application is slow no you have to plan your architecture irrespective of the load your product should work if it is not work you have to plan you have to modify your code you have to change your architecture you have to increase your infrastructure you have to do then availability hey, is your always your application is up and running or not can you see your youtube is down can you see your youtube have you seen your youtube is down have you seen your your uh, facebook is down if those are down then in terms of crores it will be impacted to them in, five minutes youtube down means it may be in worst case it will be five crores loss it's true you know only youtube videos at the back end how much business is happened with youtube and facebook and all always availability of your product is important so how many users amazon is accessing half an hour amazon is done means in terms of crores loss for amazon after that hey how your code quality clients are using this how your code quality is there so you need to use pmd and sonar performance means you need to use j meter hey code quality keep in mind you are writing your code for you know no vulnerabilities no security issues now here no you know you have to be your code should be readable maintainable understandable reusable and secure then only you know your nfrs you know then only your code is strong means your application will be your product will be strong 
that's why always clients are looking for what standards you are using are you following this solid principles or not in your code if not then it is okay it is okay difficult to okay sustain your product you have to know all these things another one is how much unit testing you are using how much unit testing you are using so you need to use j unit you need to use marketo you need to use power marketo then how much code coverage you are using your client is asking hey i want code coverage minimum 85 percentage your clients are asking how much google is asking 85 percentage code coverage we can use cobertura or we can use jacoco understood now with this all the stuff your client is asking hey i want logging i want logs in our real time you should use logging okay if any issues are there how to how to resolve you know quickly this okay log for j will be helpful i want to see last one year logs logs of six months log it is very difficult to, to see this uh, you know uh, in our uh, uh, you know all the okay, remote servers you should go for log elk or you should use called splunk and so on everything hey okay nfrs are very very important team without nfrs you can't do anything in your project without nfrs you can't do anything in your project please you should more focus on nfrs you should focus on nfrs you should focus on all your tech stacks spring boot microservices like rest api core advanced java multi-threading caching kafka docker you know and also uh, you know docker and okay, aws okay everything you should be able to do it here you know after that what happened you know see how the authentication frameworks how the login how the ssl will work all we are going into see practically with your hdfs application at the end we are going into build one end-to-end -end application after all this stuff will be done so now what by by keeping in this mind what strino tech is providing the syllabus for this course see it is our real-time project agenda part one strino tech will introduce about your projects how the projects will be started how the onshore team and offshore team is there how the client and vendor relationship is there how many types of the projects migration projects scratch projects you know enhancement projects support projects you know which one is good and which one is bad then you know if you joined the company which type of the project you will you may get how many types of the teams are there we have dev team we have testing team we have qe you have dv team and we have dev apps team how many teams are there in our real time how you are communicating with all the teams without these basics you can't do after you joined your company after that how the interview process most of them are attending weekend interviews hey i got the job no after you joined the company again you have one more round of interviews are there in your real time how that interviews will be happened another one is client bridge calls how the bridge calls you will be there how to join those bridge calls other one is how to send status emails to your managers and onshore team it is very very important next one is real time working environment terminologies i will explain in our project course next one we are going into cover 25 java real time tools team even though you have zero knowledge on this all these tools we will make you from zero to hero all these real-time tools each and every tool we are going into provide theory and software installation and practical examples and real-time use cases and then how to implement all these tools in the project even though you have zero knowledge all these 25 tools we will explain from the scratch to in-depth that is zero to hero that 
it is our promise that will take care of everything on this okay, real time tools so get bit bucket maven log for j putty vinacp log monitoring tools elk j unit marketo power marketo code coverage tools cobertura code quality tool pmd sonar cube cicd jenkins how the dockerization how the j meter for performance testing how the jira rally how the swagger tool it will work how the java mail api java debugging postman for rest api testing tools and apache poi itext to download the pdf and excel nexus to create your own repository like maven you know in maven three repositories are there local remote and central how to create your own repository how the real time companies are preparing the real time repository same you can prepare your own repository using nexus another one is linux commands these days almost all the organizations are deploying their applications into linux server to communicate with linux server you need linux commands are mandatory that okay what are the linux commands are required for the java developer those commands will take care and you know real time core java logics will give some core java logics how to how to improve that coding skills we are going into give to here now part three full course with POCs we are going into provide every weekend some two days work workshops spring core two days workshop restful api two days workshop spring boot two days workshop microservices two days workshop spring security two days angular two days mvc spring batch kafka redis all are one day see even though you you have basic knowledge on spring remaining we, we will take care how to in two days will cover the theory plus practical you know in depth then you know next day how to implement in the project we are going into see how to implement in the project we are going into see you can assume that this course also will cover like mini projects how the otp generation end to end flow will work how the forgot password end to end will work everything we are going into implement in our real time after that now we are going into see project three this project three is called end to end project hey here we okay end to end project means ui plus apis plus database plus kafka plus spring batch process plus cache we will explain in depth on this domains what domain we are going into take banking insurance telecom healthcare so we based on that domain first i will explain clearly most of the time we used to take banking will give that domain how to understand the project to functional requirements how to understand the project to technical requirement and implement the project design implement the project architecture and what is your project to technical flow based on the architecture and technical flow we should build micro services using spring boot rest apis then to you not know, to connect with you know your controller to resource resource to your dao we should use spring core module to and also to uh, you know configure okay mvc applications we, we should go for mvc dao orm everything spring batch to implement offline jobs how this uh, you know how the offline jobs will be executing so all we are going into see in your project practically kafka also will use docker also will use aws cloud also will use kubernetes also will use if you implemented this project end to end you know this major project you can split into two projects how the two projects how it is works later i will explain after it is everything is done so the fourth is job assistance see whatever project we are going into do same project you can keep in your resume step one and also a resume preparation also you will give mock interview you say if you are strong on this preparation 
he will ask me hey shrinu i need mock interview you will conduct mock interview for you but if you are not strong then don't waste our time our valuable time if you are strong he'll take the mock interview this mock interview will be helpful in your real time i am sure about that after that he'll explain how to cover the gaps and apply the jobs now we'll provide top 50 project round faqs these are more than enough to crack the interview i am sure about this you know here last one is do's and do nots you know do's and don'ts in it's companies you know how what things you should do what things you should not do also we'll cover this <clears throat> after everything is done you know see now highlights what is the highlights now yes in Strinotech, our course fee is 15000 every day class notes will be provided plus daily videos with li limited access means only 10 days videos will be provided plus full courses you know all spring boot microservices angular docker everything duration is three months 100 percent job assistance will until you will get a job still 2015 16 18 students are calling to us uh, they are asking you know some questions they are getting some suggestions from me still they are you know you know to switch their current company to new company or to join any new company still it's not like you know hey boss your course is done now until you will get your job 100 percent job assistance is there from our end learn java real-time project in strino tech yes you will get more than six plus years of real-time experience knowledge you can blindly trust strino technologies Hey, when compared to Srinu Tech with the other institutes on fees wise and quality wise, fees wise, their project fee is starting, they would announce 5,000. Even though their project fee is 5,000, again, they will be charging videos for 4,000. Again, they will be charging Spring Boot and microservices is called 5,000. Angular classes are 2,000 jdk features are 1500 indirectly without knowing you they are charging 20000 but quality wise i am sure sinotech is you know i am sure they are not meet sinotech standards sinotech is always provide the 100 percent quality you know other other institutes just implement the project at a high level by managing with the tools and not developed from the scratch scratch to end i'm sure about this so sinotech charging is less with all the courses and with scratch end-to-end -end development project i'm sure you do java real-time project course in Sino technologies and you can survey in any domain it may be banking insurance healthcare food gaming whatever it any company service based or product based or whatever it any country in it world you can sustain for sure you know after you take the uh, course in Sino technologies this is what i am sharing with you guys if you have any questions you can ask me i am happy so this course is split into part one part two part three and part four so if all okay then see here our project batch start date project batch start date start date is 9 august 2021 timings Seven thirty AM to nine AM. Whoever is interested, please send email to Strino Technologies at the rate gmail dot com. Who whoever is interested. Please send email to Srinu Technologies at the rate.com at the rate gmail.com. Any questions, team?
any questions if you are good if no questions so you know okay okay you can ask the questions i will stop this recording this is our batch start date and you know on timings who whoever is interested please send email to srinu technologies at the rate gmail.com okay so any questions you can ask if you want more details go for srinutech.com you can get it in this how to contact srinutech.com here you have phone numbers mobiles and you have you know all these contacts you have batch details okay okay everything here so you can contact Srinu Tech here and you can join our telegrams to get new batch updates or any some okay, technical videos all you can get it in this telegram any questions team if no questions then we'll drop off we'll join on 9th august 2021 okay team yeah thank you all thank you i'm stopping recording now you can ask any questions now yeah